Uh, Rejoice, are you ready? Okay. Fourth Industrial Revolution. Fourth Industrial Revolution. <laughs> uh, good. Is it still morning, everyone? Is it afternoon already? Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rejoice Mweketi. I come from Kiltepile Primary School um, in Extension 7 in Kaheng. My partner, unfortunately, is not here, but I requested uh, our facilitator, caring, supportive, uh, to be with me here. Uh, my partner is Karen Peterson. She is presently not here. She is in Jobek that we have learned. Um, Lawrence was challenging me and saying for the Industrial Revolution. I'm going to be short and brief because now Bongi was saying where there's a will, there's a way. I had prepared a collage and Karen would have come in with the, um, the fourth Industrial Revolution because she's working for a communications company. Rina, can you please hold this? I know I'm uh, audible enough, but I'm just going to say uh, when we have lunch, people will just come in to just come and have a look at what the partnership has done. And I just say uh, it will also come in there. Uh, it has got pictures of me and Karen and the other um, uh, cops that we have been doing. The courses that we have been attending of flawless time to think and community involvement. Ah. Now this, they can have a look at that so that they can see the face of Karen and my face and the school and all that. And that will also indicate that partners for possibilities have taught me as a person to know that I need to close space with my teachers to appreciate the educators, the parents, as well as the learners. To give everyone a chance to have their say. What my other partners have said is true. Because as principals, sometimes we stand as the high and mighty in our offices and you are sitting in that chair and then you forget that the person coming to you is a human being. So I have learned to close the space to say, I'm not going to be this sitting in this chain. I'm going to just come to your level and we, I sit next to you. The gap is closed, the space is closed, and we are able to appreciate each, each other. I've learned to also know that, as Paulina have said, collaborative uh, leadership. You delegate, and when you delegate, you give people their wings to, to soar. And when they soar, that's when you see that the school is going somewhere else. And in terms of the what if, as she has said, what if? Right now I was to present with Karen, but then I said, what if? Then I said, okay, even though I'm not so much in terms of electronics, there is always plan B, and this is what partners of possibilities, that there is always a lot of possibilities that we can be able to learn from. I am not going to be long. There is my cue to say I'm almost at the end. The pictures will tell the stories. It's about the learners. We had outdoor teaching at some stage. We also had um, different activities. But those were just as a result of what Partners for Possibilities have taught us. You are partners in that school. The parents are here doing their job, the learners are doing theirs, and the teachers are also doing their theirs. It was wonderful to get to the point of getting started. So we are at the end of the day. But I have said to this one, join us in keeping this magic alive and the journey continues. I want to thank uh, Rina specifically because when you come into partners of possibilities, you are given an opportunity to be listened to. 
And when you are being listened to, you know that you are being appreciated. And when you are being appreciated, you are supported as well. To all my partners, principals, and the businesses, I say thank you very much, Rina. Uh, you, you said we have challenges, and you know this partnership has been your most challenging if you can talk to the other partnerships. I appreciate you. You have been my anchor, and as I said, the partnership continues. Lawrence, thank you.